Well, hey guys, how are you? I decided to sit outside today because it's such a beautiful day out today. And <clears throat> I was just worshiping the Lord this morning. And guys, this is an amazing thing. This is the second time this has happened. So I was, I always go to bed after midnight because I want to wait for the verse of the day. And it's kind of like my thing with the Lord. And I listen to it <clears throat> and I fall asleep in his word with my headphones. Well, this morning I physically felt him wake me up at like five something. And it was on Isaiah 49, all the way I listened to it, like to like Isaiah 49 through Isaiah 52. So I recommend you guys go and reading that, but it mentioned the bride. It also mentioned that he hasn't forgotten us, um, that how could a, a mom forget their child or something like that. And then here's what's really amazing. I'm listening to this like half asleep and I remember feeling the Lord wake me up guys. Um, but so part of the message, just listen to this. He awakens me morning by morning. He awakens my ear to hear as they learn. The Lord God has opened my ear and I was not rebellious, nor did I turn away. I gave my back to those who struck me and my cheeks to those who plucked out the beard and did not hide my face from shame and spitting. So <clears throat> guys, it hasn't been easy delivering all these messages. A lot of them have been about destruction because that's what's coming. And some people say it's doom and gloom, but it's just, it's the truth guys. He comes back like a lion. So I encourage you to go read Isaiah 49 through 52 today because it really spoke to me. And if you're a servant out there for the Lord, you're just trying to relay his messages. If you're just trying to, um, or if you get visions or dreams, this is for you guys. He hasn't forgotten us and he's pleased with us because we're doing his will. And <clears throat> there's a lot of stuff about, you know, in that turning your cheek to the enemy, guys, people who are persecuting you or whatever, just turn your cheek, show them nothing but love because the devil's footstool is anger and fighting and stuff like that. So just try to give them love, even though they're mean, <clears throat> is what he's been teaching me, because sometimes it's hard. But guys, so I don't know if you know my story, but in 2014, I was really recording and I was a country artist. I went by like Morgan Riley and the Lord put it on my heart not to have Morgan Riley anymore. That was after my dad died in 2019. But um, I was pursuing country music and he gave me a rapture dream. And guys, I was so lost in this world. I didn't even realize it was a warning for me until after my dad died in 2019. But it was a normal day, the rapture dream. Jesus descended from heaven. It was a loud trumpet. People were screaming his name. And in the sky, it said, follow me and you will go up. Guys, I didn't realize I was not following him. I was following the world. I was seeking what the devil owns, you know, money and fame. And although I didn't think I was seeking money or anything like that, because I've never cared about money, but I was seeking, I was seeking the music industry and that all comes with money and fame. And <clears throat> I'm not anymore. So, you know, I, I'm a real realtor now, but I still do my music on the side and um, I write for the Lord now. And before all this happened, December 30th, I took off that day from real estate. I worshiped him all day. I wrote him two songs. I got on my knees. I prayed and cried to him. I bowed to our King. Um, I was so vulnerable. It's about your vulnerability towards the Lord and your faith, your childlike faith and your love for him, guys, and your belief. And he will pour his spirit out on you. After I did that, he poured his spirit out on me that night and started giving me messages. And I prayed for a year about it. So, you know, I, I believe if you keep seeking him and you keep knocking and you ask for his will, he will give it to you guys. And I do believe he's coming so soon. You know, he hasn't forgotten us. No matter where we are, he's going to keep us safe and in perfect peace. And I think today, you know, in that message, it said, sing him a song. So I'm obedient and I'm going to sing the Lord a song today. Um, so I encourage you guys to sing to the Lord today as well. And I wrote this song and it's called Praise You. And guys, I don't think we have much time left. I really feel like it's this month, the rapture, if not the 15th. You know, I know something major is going to happen on the 15th. So I haven't recorded these songs or anything like that. I've just, just wrote them for the Lord. And maybe one day in heaven, I'll get to sing them to Jesus. But this song's called Praise You. 
I hope you like it. I hope you sing along with me. And guys, don't ever take my word on anything. Always ask the Holy Spirit for everything. Okay. I know your work here is not done. And the enemy think they have won. But you're going to bring the fight here soon. We believe we're waiting for you. I know people say you've yet to come, but a thousand years is a day in your word. And you're waiting for your people to believe that you shed your blood for you and me. And I want to praise you with my heart. I want to praise you with my soul. You're in control of my life. You are the Christ. Jesus, you are my God. I know your word is true and I believe that your battle's still to come and they'll bend their knees. And with a breath of fire, you can create the storm. It's time to bow to your king. And I want to praise you with my heart. I want to praise you with my soul. You're in control of my life. You are the Christ. Jesus, you are my God, and we're waiting, waiting for you. Yes, we're waiting, we're waiting on you, because your word is true, and we'll see you soon. And we're waiting, waiting for you, and I want to praise you with my heart. I want to praise you with my soul. You're in control of my life. You are the Christ. Jesus, you are my God. So guys, Jesus is amazing. If you don't know him and you don't have a relationship with him, I what are you waiting on, guys? Ask him right now. Ask him because he will save you from all of this co that's coming. And guys, it's going to be really bad. You want to be at the wedding feast. You do. And guys, his door is closing soon. Do not listen to prophets that are telling you that it's not because it's a lie. It's a deception. Guys, there is no revival. There will be a takedown cabal, yes, but it's the devil's deception. Stop listening to people who say Jesus is not coming soon. Stop listening to prophets who are gaining anything, guys. This world is ending. And it's not too late. It's not too late. And he keeps giving me these messages to warn you guys. Just believe in him. It is your childlike faith. You are not saved based on works. Walk in the spirit. You will want to please Jesus. You will not be led by the flesh. Confess your sins and he will forgive you. Repentance. Repenting it, guys. Changing your mind about following this world. Seeking Jesus is what you need to be doing. All right, guys. I hope I encourage you today.